Ông quyết chọn. President, President, please be seated. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And the chamber gives the floor to the deputy co-prosecutor to resume the questioning. You may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, just Thank before the break, we were discussing Khmer Rouge attacks into Vietnamese territory. Um, and you mentioned that while uh, you weren't familiar with Angyang province, you were familiar with Chao Doc province in Vietnam, which is also close to the Takeo border. Um, I'd like to read you two excerpts um, regarding Chao Doc province. Uh, the first is from a book by an individual named Stephen Morris, who came to testify here not too long ago. Uh, that's E3 slash 7338. Um, it is only available in English at 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 7, 6, 5. It's page 98 of the book. And this is what he says, uh, Mr. Witness, quote, Vietnamese party state leaders sent a message congratulating their counterparts on the anniversary of their victory. But this goodwill gesture reaped no beneficial consequences for Vietnam. The Khmer Rouge deliberately chose the second anniversary of the Vietnamese communist conquest of South Vietnam to leave a truly bloody calling card. On April 30th, 1977, Khmer Rouge units attacked several villages and towns in Angyang and Chao Doc, provinces of southern Vietnam, burning houses and killing hundreds of civilians. The Vietnamese leaders were shocked by this unprovoked attack and could not understand any strategic rationale behind it. Nevertheless, they decided upon military retaliation. Close quote. Um, the, the second quote regarding Chao Doc uh, is uh, from a book uh, by Ben Kiernan, E3 slash 1593, English ERN 0115018586, French ERN 0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-0063-916-
President. Please hold on, Mr. Winner. You may not proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Very interesting point. Uh, voilà. The prosecution is raising. Uh, uh, let me uh, interesting uh, on uh, various grounds, uh, Mr. President. Pour plusieurs motifs. First of all, I noticed at the uh, leader uh, of the two international judges uh, asked des juges internationaux n'a demandé à l'accusation quelles étaient les sources de Maurice et de Kiernan, respectivement. C'est une question qui nous est systématiquement posée. Et j'en viens à un deuxième aspect. Maurice décrit une attaque qui a été lancée le 30 avril 1977 contre le territoire vietnamien, mais il n'y a pas de source. Il, Maurice ne fait que répéter ce qui a été dit par Chanda, et Chanda, quant à lui, répète ce qui a été dit dans les rapports de propagande vietnamiens à propos de janvier 1978. Et c'est ce que fait um, Kiernan également, pour l'essentiel. C'est donc problématique, particulièrement parce que Chanda n'est pas venu ici déposer devant la Chambre en tant qu'expert, mais s'il ne peut expliquer quelles sont ses sources. Et par surcroît, les ces attaques sur le territoire vietnamien, ces incursions, si tant est qu'elles ont véritablement eu lieu, puisqu'il y a peu d'éléments qui corroborent ces attaques, sont de toute façon à l'extérieur du champ du procès. J'aimerais donc demander à l'accusation de présenter des éléments de preuve concrets quant à ces attaques. Je Allow me to respond obligé. to the testimony presented uh, by counsel on the other side. J'aimerais, um, dit l'accusation, répondre uh, au témoignage all, que vient sources, de faire um, uh, la défense. Lui-même, um, uh, en ce qui that, concerne les sources, uh, les sources ont uh, été citées. Um, ce sont les sources citées par Stephen Morris Kiernan, également the dans was son livre in the en ce qui concerne ce sont les archives de Kissing. La défense peut tout à fait citer les sources qui ont été citées et qui ont été citées. Cependant, ce n'est pas le temps nor place for that. In regards to scope, certainly the armed conflict is well within the scope of le conflit armé um, fait largement partie du présent procès, paragraphe 153 de l'ordonnance de clôture qui fait référence aux attaques à l'intérieur du territoire vietnamien et qui fait également état d'une théorie qui a été projetée par la défense de Nguyen Chia et qui concerne des, des attaques qui n'ont pas été provoquées. I think the prosecution Maître Coppel, totally il me point. semble que l'accusation n'a pas du tout compris ce que je voulais dire. Uh, Est-ce que vous pourriez, s'il vous plaît, nous présenter uh, des témoignages concrets, des éléments de preuve concrets selon lesquels ces attaques du 30 avril 1977 ont bel et bien eu lieu uh, source, uh, Tout à fait répond l'accusation. Uh, les sources de ce témoignage sont au dossier. C'est la citation que je viens de vous lire. Émanant de l'expert cité par que la défense a demandé à citer à comparaître, que la défense de Nguyen Chia a demandé à citer à comparaître. Maître Coppe, oui, mais c'est toujours le même problème que celui que nous avons rencontré lorsque nous avons parlé de Chanda, qui parle de la réunion du comité central du Parti communiste. On nous a rétorqué, et d'où viennent les sources de Chanda Quelles sont les sources de Chanda Et là, vous faites la même chose, vous parlez de Chanda, et apparemment, la Chambre vous laisse procéder ainsi. Président, the objection of the defense team Président, l'objection de l'équipe de défense Copper est rejetée. The question is is can be asked by uh, the co-prosecutor and the chamber needs to hear the answer from the witness. Mr. Witness, please answer the uh, question put by the Monsieur deputy co-prosecutor if you recall it. I would like to provide my comments 
in relation to the report uh, of uh, the Vietnamese troops. It is my understanding that uh, the, the report is not true. Le rapport est inexact. I was there at uh, my uh, base. We did not attack into uh, Ang Yang. Moi, my special ma force uh, had no ma force special rise to attack into uh, Ang Yang, the territory of Vietnam. Et de faire des incursions sur le territoire we had no rights to attack Nous deep into the territory de of the other country. We could only attack close to our border. Nous ne pouvions qu'attaquer proche de la frontière. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, Je vous remercie, Monsieur le témoin. While you were in Takeo engaged in fighting with the Vietnamese, Takeo et que were you ever informed of any negotiations vous a that were taking place, high-level negotiations between the Cambodian Khmer Rouge government, CPK, uh, and the Vietnamese government? Et le gouvernement du Vietnam. I did not have, uh, I do not have the information on this particular point. It is beyond my knowledge. I can only say what I know. I do not know about uh, the, the negotiation of uh, the upper echelon. Let me read to you uh, a document that's on the case file. This is a, uh, a document, a Vietnamese press release um, from their UN mission in New York, E3 slash 5883. Uh, from 31st of December 1977, English ERN 0041976907 Sorry, I, I believe uh, in the Kamai I gave the wrong number. Uh, 656245. Um, and this is the quote, Mr. Witness. On June 7, 1977, the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Vietnam and the government of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam sent another letter to the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Kampuchea and the government of Democratic Kampuchea proposing that meetings be held as early as possible between high-ranking leaders of the two parties and the two governments so as to solve the border issue between the two countries. In their letter of reply, dated June 18, 1977, the Central Committee of the Party and the Government of Kampuchea considered that such meetings were necessary, but proposed that they be resumed only after, quote, a period of time until the situation returns to normal without further border conflicts, close quote. However, it was precisely Or, at the time that Kampuchea increased its military attacks, its encroachments upon Vietnamese territory, and its massacre of militaire Vietnamese civilians, sabotaging the peaceful labor of the Vietnamese people in border provinces, particularly Kien Giang, Ang Giang, Dong Phak, Long An, and Thien Nguyen. This press release is describing Uh, attacks that were taking place uh, uh, in and around June of 1977. Are you aware of conflicts on the border in June of 1977? I have already told the chamber that from early or mid-1977 there were continuous attacks between Cambodia and Vietnam. I have already told the court since the beginning. That is true, Mr. Witness. Um, and, and does that quote refresh your memory of ever hearing anything about negotiations that were also taking place uh, at the same time uh, as these attacks were taking place? I uh, do not know about that, so I cannot say anything.
I understand. Um, did you ever receive any instructions um, uh, regarding um, uh, Khmer Rouge cadre entering into um, Vietnam to capture um, uh, and bring back Khmer Krom? de capturer les Vietnamiens et de ramener les Khmer Krom. Let me clarify it. I do not know about the plans to take back Cambodia Crown. My, the instruction of my superior was to defend our existing territory. I never received any instruction to take back Cambodia Crown. Perhaps my uh, question was unclear. I'm not talking about taking back territory of Cambodia Crown, but uh, people that were Khmer Crom themselves that were within Vietnamese territory. Did you ever receive any instructions about uh, à propos de entering ces Vietnam to bring them back to the territory of Democratic à vous rendre sur le territoire vietnamien pour ramener ces personnes au Cambodia démocratique? No, never. Réponse, non, jamais. Uh, let me uh, cite to you Question. something on the case file. Um, I'll quote to you dossier. rather. This is again Kiernan at E3 slash 1593 English 011 French 006 and Kamai 006 Nine, seven, Khmer, uh, and this is what he says, witness, 9, quote, in 1978, DK raiding parties from the southwest kidnapped thousands of Khmer Krom from their villages inside Vietnam. In a two-week campaign in March 1978, a DK division successfully occupied the Bai Nui district of Anh Does that refresh your memory uh, regarding um, in 1978, Khmer Rouge forces entering to obtain 1978, Khmer Krom and bring them back to Democratic Kampuchea. Des forces Khmer Rouge sont entrées en territoire vietnamien pour ramener des Khmer Krom. I have already told the court. Réponse. J'ai déjà répondu à la chambre. The the Cambodian forces did not go to attack and capture villages of uh, Vietnam. We could not stay in the territory of Vietnam uh, more than one hour. Uh, we could not go to capture those villages and to take control of their villages. Um, when you were based in Takeo, how, how would you receive your orders Takeo, regarding where and how and when to comment attack? Vous disait -on où et comment il fallait attaquer? The order Réponse. to combat was only when the Vietnamese penetrated our territory. Our forces never went into Vietnamese territory. We received the order to counterattack when the Vietnamese troops attacked us. How many soldiers we had in control at the time, Combien and if uh, we uh, dared to stay long in Vietnamese territory, we uh, would uh, uh, have lost all of our soldiers. Uh, my question was uh, moving on question. to a slightly different topic. Uh, un sujet I was asking, uh, presumably, you received orders about how Je and where to attack from some bit. Is that correct? Did you receive orders from some bit about uh, military orders from him during your time in Takeo? Au moment où vous étiez à Takeo. Est-ce que c'est exact? Um, 
Sambot was the commander of the division. Sambot était le commandant de la division. And how would he give you those orders? What methods? Meetings, telegrams, Question, messengers? Question: Quelle méthode? Réunion, télégramme, message. Début de la question inaudible. I understand that the order of the division to all of us at the border was to defend our territory. We were told to organize our forces in order to defend our territory at the border. We received through meetings and also uh, in, uh, by the telegrams. And uh, did you ever attend Question. meetings where Tamok would Tamok give presentations or give you any orders in the southwest? As I was Réponse. the commander of the regiment, I participated Comme in the meetings with the Mok and Sambut at the Kai province. The, the specific instruction was to defend, defend our territory. There was no secret on this instruction. And if, for secret. example, uh, I was in charge of a certain kilometers of territory, si I would uh, need to defend that territory. And when Tamok was uh, talking to you or giving you these instructions, uh, did he ever mention Nguyen Chea, uh, anything that Nguyen Chea had said? A-t-il jamais dit quoi que ce soit qu'aurait dit Nguyen Chea Tamok never conveys the messages from the upper echelon. Usually, he used his own words to instruct all of us. He was uh, very straightforward in his uh, instructions. I was under his command. He instructed uh, me uh, to defend the territory. Uh, our soldiers never had time to return home. We were Nos there at the border. Let me read to you something you said when you last testified here. Uh, this is at 14, 35, 25. Um, question, did you ever meet Nguyen Chea in person, one to one? Answer, during the time I never met him, I never met any of the upper leadership level, I only heard of their names through the instructions of Tamok. I never met them until today. Uh, is that accurate? And um, are you referring to these meetings? Um, in the southwest zone when you said that you heard their names? Est-ce que c'est au cours de ces réunions que vous avez entendu les noms en question Réponse. Allow me to inform the chamber that Permettez-moi d'informer la chambre. The Democratic Cambodia uh, used the word Khmer Rouge. Le Cambodia démocratique and utilisait le terme Khmer Rouge et les dirigeants étaient one who was in charge of uh, certain tasks Secret. only uh, knew what uh, they were told to do. So I minded only my business. The, the, the other people, other people minded their own business. I have heard of uh, the names of the upper echelon, but I myself never met them, although they were from uh, different divisions. I'd like to now move uh, to the time period uh, that you were based in Zvairing. Um, you told us already that uh, you were sent there um, uh, in mid 1978 following operations um, uh, that lasted from late 1977. 
Um, qui avait commencé fin 1977. Ainsi, uh, lorsque vous êtes arrivé à Spiring, est-ce que c'est tout votre uh, 12, régiment, numéro 12, uh, qui est allé avec vous au même moment I have told the court earlier Réponse. that when we organize, when I organized my soldiers uh, to go to Swahiriang, I was at the time not in, no longer in charge of Regiment 12. And as I told, there were brigades uh, 210, 230, 250, and 270. And Uh, then, uh, 221 brigades uh, were organized. My regiment, 12, uh, at the time, uh, did not go to Swai Riang. And this, this new unit that you were in charge of, how many soldiers were there in all that you brought with you to, from the southwest zone to Swai Riang? Donc cette unité que vous avez amenée avec vous depuis la zone sud-ouest à Swahiriang, combien de soldats comptait-elle Il y avait environ 1800 hommes. Uh, four, and there were four Et quatre régiments. Just so I'm clear, uh, are you saying that each regiment clear, had a little over a thousand soldiers, or in total there was a total of a thousand? In total, there was a total of a thousand. Kim Sam Mujiatha, Mun Men Mui Vrasa. No. It's not 1,800 soldiers for one regiment. Non. I spoke earlier that one regiment was uh, reassigned from each of the brigades 210, 230, 250, and 270. And the uh, combined forces for the four regiments were 1,800. I understand. Thank you. Um, Um, Veuillez répéter ce que vous avez dit lors de votre dernière comparution. Uh, vous avez dit à la Chambre avoir assisté à une réunion en fin 1977 présidée par Tamok et qui donnait des instructions sur l'organisation des forces um, devant aller à Sphairing. Je vais vous poser une question suivie par rapport à ce que vous avez dit. The quote là. from the transcript, uh, E1 slash 193.1, 11 And this is what you said. Uh, I attended a meeting at Tamok's house with Mr. Sambit. The meeting was held in late 1977. At that time, the Khmer Rouge was fighting with the Vietnamese already. So the forces from the southwest had been sent to Zvairing, to the east already ahead of me. Um, and the meeting was aimed to organize the troop to send my regiment to the east zone. Um, close quote. Est. You seem to be indicating that there were forces from the southwest zone that had been sent to Zvairing before you were sent there uh, in, uh, or before this meeting took place in mid-1977, uh, sorry, late 1977. Is that correct, that forces had already been sent to the east zone? Yes, that's correct, that forces had already been sent to the In my previous interview in Batambom province, I confirmed that before I went to Swahiri, there was already a, a, a group of soldiers who were sent there before I went. So uh, my son was the second round, and that happens in uh, late 78. Ça s'est passé en fin 1978, lorsque moi j'ai été envoyé. 
En deuxième position, c'est Ren du Sud-Ouest qui dirigeait le premier groupe. East zone, uh, and question, how many forces quand est-ce est que ce Ren groupe est allé uh, dans la zone Est et combien d'hommes sont allés avec Rennes à cette époque-là? Réponse. Je ne connais pas le nombre de forces qui sont allés avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais les forces qui sont allées avec Rennes. Je connais He went since early 1977. Il y est parti depuis le début de l'année 1977. Question. Pouvez-vous dire à la chambre quel était le nom de l'unité dont vous aviez la responsabilité à votre arrivée à Sverring. The units that I uh, supervise was uh, Brigade 200 and uh, was in the Brigade 221. La brigade d'intervention 221. And who was your deputy? In that intervention brigade 221. Réponse. Qui était votre adjoint dans cette brigade d'intervention 221? Question. It was Chiang, my deputy. However, he died since 1979. When you say Chiang, is that Sok Chiang? L'accusation Chin. Vous voulez parler de Sok Chin? Sok Chin. There were two deputies. Réponse. One was Sok Chin and the other one was Chin. Sok Chin et l'autre Chin. Sok Chin was also my deputy. Sok Chin était également l'un de mes adjoints. When you previously testified. Also today, you said that including your intervention brigade, there were five brigades that made up this new division in Zvi-Ring. Did that division itself have a number or a name? Est-ce que cette division en elle-même avait un code et un nom? I do not understand your question. La réponse, je ne comprends pas votre question. You you've told us that you were ahead of an intervention brigade. Vous nous avez dit. And when you previously testified, you said at thirteen forty one twenty. This is a quote. During the democratic Cambodia regime, there were five brigades which made up a division, and that included an intervention brigade. I'm wondering if this division that your intervention brigade was part of, did it have a name or a number when it was based in Zvi-Ring? Lorsqu'elle était basée à Zvi-Ring, avait un nom et un code. We speak about intervention brigades 221. And there were four or five regiments under that brigade. Those regiments were subordinated to these intervention brigades 221. 
était rattaché à la brigade d'intervention de 121. Uh, uh, Votre question est un please, peu confuse. Uh, 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 D'après l'interprétation que the nous avons utilisée, nous prions les interprétés de la cela crée des confusions uh, pour tout you, le monde. I'm sure it's my Accusation. Fault. Merci, um, Monsieur le Président. Je suis sûr uh, que c'est ma faute. Uh, um, to clarify. Um, Je vais essayer d'être plus précis. Uh, Mr. Witness, when you were, uh, testifying Monsieur le Témoin, vous parliez quand vous When you're, um, you became head of the intervention vous brigade 221, vous avez you said that there parlé. were four other brigades d'une uh, brigade d'intervention 221 dont vous aviez la tête et qu'il y avait quatre said, autres quote, brigades qui faisaient partie d'une division à Zvairing. Later on, it was expanded to four brigades, and in Zvairing, there were five brigades which formed a division. Il y avait cinq brigades qui formaient une division. What I'm trying to ascertain is, did that division that Ma question est la suivante. Cette division constituée de cinq brigades avait-elle un nom et un code lorsqu'elle était basée à Sfairiang? Now I understand your question. Réponse. Maintenant, je comprends votre And question. My apology, as I did not understand your previous question because it was confusing about uh, the brigades and the uh, car, uh, elle était un peu confuse. regiments. Quant aux brigades, When I arrived in Swaziland, there were five brigades. Il y avait cinq brigades. And that uh, was organized upon my arrival at uh, Swaziland. And these five brigades Swaring. formed a Ces division, and the, that division, division was uh, commanded by Ryan, whom I said that he Ryan, had been there earlier. A massive five brigades. Uh, there were intervention brigade two two one, brigade four sixty, three forty. 703, C'est ce que j'ai dit dans ma précédente audition. Okay. Um, you just mentioned um, uh, the other brigades that formed part of this division. Vous venez de citer les autres brigades qui formaient cette division. Je vais vous poser des questions regarding. Je vais vous poser des questions who was in charge of those other brigades. But first, I'd like to ask you, um, was, uh, were there ever any, uh, in addition to the, the five brigades that you just mentioned, um, were there, uh, was there a separate unit of artillery and tanks uh, attached to your division in Sfairing? The division uh, was overall in charge by Ryan, and there were five La brigades under the, uh, sub, his subordinate, that is my uh, brigade 221. Dont ma Then there were brigades uh, uh, 460, head by a pawn who passed away, brigade 703, headed by D, who is also D. dead, and uh, brigade 805 was, also, uh, was headed by pawn who passed dont le commandant était Pon, également décédé. Le microphone de l'accusation n'est pas allumé. I'd like to read to you a quote. It's the OCIJ statement E3-4593. Um, uh, it is uh, a uh, WRI of Chuan uh, answer Chunti. A15. Um, he mentions uh, the, the units that you discussed, um, and he says at the end, quote, besides artillery and tank units belong to the Central Committee, also joined in with Ren's division. Et c'était joint à la division de Rennes. Um, Est-ce que cela vous your memory? Were there artillery and tank units belonging to the central committee also joined in with Rennes division? L'unité d'artillerie et de chars relevant du centre s'était également jointe 
à la division de Rennes. Yes, I know about it, but I haven't yet finished my response in Swahili's that the division also had tanks and artillery units. There were five of them all together for the tanks and the artillery units. Do you know why they referred to as belonging to the Central Committee? Why were those artillery and tank units referred to as belonging to the Central Committee? Pourquoi disait-on que cette unité de chars et d'artillerie était rattachée au Comité Central? I uh, don't understand about the arrangements that they were under the center when I arrived. The artillery and uh, tank units were under the subordination of a Ryan, who was overall in charge and who dealt with all the issues, including statistics. And that is the limit of my knowledge. I uh, did not know that it was under the supervision of the center. Était placé sous la tutelle du centre. In your written record of interview at answer five, you go through the names of the people in charge of the various brigades of this division, and then you say, "Quote: All five of these brigades made up a central division supervised by Ren." Close quote. Une division, um, why did you refer to it as a central Rennes. division? Fin de citation. Pourquoi désignez-vous cette division comme une division du centre? I do not know whether uh, a typing mistake was made in the uh, interview. What I know is that uh, in Swahirin, there was one division, and underneath there were five brigades. And so that is what I provided uh, during my interview. And maybe uh, there was a, a, a misspelling in the uh, transcript of the record. And I also provide this the names of those commanders of those respective brigades. Did you remain in Svaring until the final Vietnamese invasion in late 1978? L'invasion finale des Vietnamiens. That is December 1978. À savoir décembre 1978. I was there in May 78, and through my letter, I was quite seriously wounded. So I was sent to be hospitalized in Phnom Penh. And when Vietnamese troops made a large-scale incursion, I was still being hospitalized. So when I was in the hospital, I could not grasp the situation along the border. And when I was discharged from the hospital, the the forces fled, and I met them in Prevang, and then we retreated through. Uh, the border area. So during this uh, intensified period, I was not at the border since I was uh, hospitalized. When you first arrived in Spiring in mid-1978, do you know where the Vietnamese troops were located um, along the Cambodian border? When I went to Swaziland, and uh, a while ago, I uh, said that once uh, we arrived at uh, Jot Village of Proso District, uh, Vietnamese troops were there, and they fired upon us. Uh, three of our trucks uh, caught fire, so they were no longer at the border. They actually entered uh, the uh, Cambodian territory. 
and they were in Cho village and they said Prosso district and that was uh, much further from the border area thank you for that clarification um, what uh, what was the role of an intervention brigade what made an intervention brigade different from a regular brigade d'une brigade ordinaire. The role of the intervention brigade, that is our special role, is not uh, to remain at one location. We have to be flexi uh, flexible and to uh, mobilize our forces uh, upon a request from the upper echelon. So we do not remain st uh, stationed at one place uh, permanently. We have to be uh, flexible and mobilized based on the uh, request. And so does that ce, mean selon that la demande, um, you were sent to fight in other areas other than the Prasat uh, area uh, that you already uh, described? Que vous avez déjà évoqué. But yes, uh, that is correct. Réponse oui, c'est exact. Can you tell us what some of these other Question. areas were where you engaged in fighting in Zvairin? Quels étaient ces autres endroits où vous avez été engagé, où vous avez participé à des hostilités à Zvairin? Kim Som Kim Rip Tha Bao Kim Rip Rapi. If you want me to describe the uh, many battlefields, vous voulez que je décrive les différents champs de bataille? Il serait trop nombreux pour que je puisse les décrire et je n'arrive pas à me souvenir de tout. Daily, uh, basis, je menais des combats au quotidien. En clair, on pourrait dire qu'on était menacés tous les jours. On a daily basis. Il y avait toujours une menace and qui pesait sur nous au quotidien. As a special, as an Quant à notre rôle, à la brigade d'intervention, on devait uh, régler tout problème qui surgissait and the upper echelon would uh, assign us uh, to attack intense. that area. But by the time we arrived, the uh, Vietnamese hater attacks uh, Prasot uh, district already. And when you say that the upper echelon would assign Question. you, who are you referring to? Who would assign you? Vous envoyez? Qui vous envoyez? À qui faites-vous référence? The upper echelon here refers Réponse. to the uh, division that is uh, Ryan, because Ryan uh, was overall in charge of those uh, four or five brigades. All orders came from Ryan. Where was Ryan's office located? Where was he based in Svaring? Regarding the battlefield in Zvairin, neither Ryan nor I had any permanent office because by that time the, uh, the fighting was in large scale and Vietnamese are engaged in the, the use of artillery and aerial bombardment, so there was no uh, fixed office. We were always on a mobile. Nous n'avions pas de bureau fixe. Let's say we stay in Swiring, we could not uh, uh, stay in Swiring there due to the artillery shelling, and for that reason we had to always uh, on mobile. Des, uh, des Did you ever hear of raison a place laquelle? called Kral Ku? On se déplaçait constamment. Question, connaissez-vous un autre endroit appelé Kral Ku? Yes, I heard about it, and I even went uh, to Kralko. Kralko is a bit uh, after Nekleung, and uh, Kralko, in Kralko, there was a logistics office. 
However, as I uh, said, uh, for a military headquarters or office, there was no one fixed location since we were constantly on a mobile. And the area that you refer to is the logistics office. Who was based at the logistics office? Question. Qui était basé à ce bureau? Le bureau de logistique. The uh, commander of a uh, division would have uh, deputies, deputies in charge of a military, in charge of finance and logistics. And, uh, so it could be one of those uh, deputies who was in charge of uh, that uh, logistics office. Qui était chargé de ce bureau de la was there um, a telegraph Question. or a telegram uh, machine at Un the logistics office? Au bureau de la logistique. Yes, it had everything. Réponse, oui. For the purpose of uh, communicating to uh, those uh, logistic uh, units within the, each uh, brigade in order the, to uh, receive the material to uh, provide to the front battlefield. Il y avait du... And uh, there was uh, usually a, a chain of command from the upper level down to the lower uh, level in this regard. Entre l'échelon supérieur et les échelons inférieurs. Question Avez-vous eu une réunion avec Rennes lorsque vous étiez dans la zone est Regarding the uh, relationship between the commander of a division and uh, commanders of brigades, Est we usually meet uh, every uh, three days because we had uh, to know about uh, the, the various plans, uh, the attack plans, the ammunition and uh, logistics, amongst other matters. Et de la logistique, entre um, autres what, what other matters were discussed other than logistics and attack plans at these meetings? Abordées, outre les questions de logistique et les plans de combat ou d'attaque lors de ces réunions. Through my uh, fighting experience in Spyrian. Réponse. Because uh, by that time the situation was uh, ripe. À l'époque Spyrian. So uh, the instructions or the uh, orders uh, were very much uh, around the uh, fighting strategy because by that time there was no uh, talking about the uh, uh, politics or policy. Vietnam uh, was everywhere in Swahirian, so we had to uh, try to deploy our strategy to contain them and not to discuss about any policy anymore. Did Ren ever mention anything about the East Zone uh, traitors or being uh, the treason committed by East Zone cadre? Des traîtres de la zone est ou de la trahison des cadres de la zone est. In theory, yes, he did. Réponse en théorie, oui. He said that uh, there were traitors, uh, this traitor, that traitor in the East Zone. However, the main focus will be est. on the uh, uh, fighting of our strategy and not delve uh, deeply into this uh, treason. De combat et non pas um, tant where were these meetings de taking de place? Were they at the logistics office question, or were they elsewhere? Était-ce au bureau de logistique ou ailleurs? As I uh, stated from the outset, uh, the meetings were also uh, on mobile. Comme je dit Sometimes les the, uh, the meeting was held here or there. Parfois, on Since uh, we ici, would be là, uh, at attacked uh, by a Vietnamese uh, air bombardment or uh, shelling from the artillery. So there were many locations that uh, we uh, participated in those meetings.
Il n'y avait donc pas de lieu précis où did, uh, les réunions se tenaient. Avez-vous jamais su que Ren vous donnait des informations um, uh, qu'il recevait um, des télégrammes, des informations qu'il recevait à ces réunions à travers des télégrammes? As I stated a while ago, in, in, in terms of relationship between the division commander and brigade commander, he would reiterate uh, all the uh, war strategies, how we uh, had to contain them, and how to retreat. So the, the content was retraite. purely military, and also another important issue is uh, Uh, food supply. Une autre question importante that we have to be very careful with uh, our food supply during the Vietnamese attacks. De nourriture. Il fallait faire Let très attention you, aux approvisionnements um, en denrées alimentaires lors des attaques um, vietnamiennes. Une question. Uh, Je vais vous soumettre E3 4 0 0 meaning there were to be no accommodation or negotiations at all with Vietnam to consider Vietnam as an enemy, close quote. Uh, does that refresh your memory that Ren would also discuss similar telegrams in meetings with you? Evoquer de tels télégrammes avec vous lors des réunions. Uh, I have stated that uh, there were many instructions, but I can recall everything. It happened uh, 20 or 30 years ago. And uh, in relation to uh, Cambodia-Vietnam relationship, the instruction from the uh, upper echelon was absolute. Absolute. There would be no uh, compromise. Not at all. Aucun. And was the upper Question. echelon that you're referring to here, was there an indication from ça. Ren that this was coming from Bien, Phnom Penh or the center somewhere, or were you not, did you not know centre, where Ren was getting his information from, Bien, ne or his instructions? Ses instructions, ses informations? I was at a lower level, Réponse. Moi, so à un I did not know uh, For example, whether the telegram Donc, came from the center, si everything I knew was uh, from Ren. Mr. President, uh, I can pause here if you wish. I'm happy to si continue as well. Je peux faire ma pause ici. Si vous le souhaitez, je peux également poursuivre. Look, the President. You uh, want to uh, compensate for the times uh, that has lost, and it is also up to the uh, president uh, for you uh, for us uh, for you to adjourn the, the proceeding. So please uh, keep continue until I say it's at the time. Absolutely. Veuillez poursuivre, um, et c'est moi le président qui est tout à fait pour vous dire of, uh, de Mr. Witness, were you ever aware of Ren going to Phnom Penh? Uh, for ever, Monsieur for le témoin, savez-vous si Ren s'est rendu à Phnom Penh pour assister à une réunion quelconque um, En a-t-il rapporté quelques, inf quelques informations Et vous a-t-il répercuté à vous et aux autres les dites informations It is uh, typical that uh, 
Ryan was not uh, the, the most uh, senior, Ryan so he had to uh, receive information from the uh, upper level. However, to what level, I uh, did not know. And I only and knew about uh, military affairs. And of course, Ryan uh, came to Phnom Penh that often, since he has to uh, have communication with uh, the center or the center's army. And I would not know uh, what affairs or what matters that Rand uh, brought along or discussed. I minded my own business at the brigade level, and as Rand, he would mind his own business at the division level. And of course, I knew that he uh, went uh, rather frequently uh, to Phnom Penh, in, in, in particular during the uh, Vietnamese attacks. And you testified when you first arrived here that he would. Uh, do the following. Uh, this is at 10.23.00, quote, and Ren was the commander of the division, and of course he had the authority to join the meeting with the upper echelon, and I was not allowed to do so, but after the meeting, then he would disseminate the information to the five brigades in a meeting where the brigade commanders and the deputy brigade commanders would attend such a meeting, close quote. So is that accurate that he would then disseminate this information when he would return um, from these meetings in regards to the fighting with Vietnam? Yes, that is correct. Yes, that is correct. Did you ever attend any meetings with Son Sen in Svairien? I used to attend a meeting uh, with Son Sen. J'ai assisté à une réunion à Kraoko avec Son Sen. Uh, Son Sen uh, went from Phnom Penh through a Kraoko that is to uh, discuss the issues of the Vietnamese attacks in Chao uh, village, that is in uh, Prosot district. And you mentioned earlier Question. that um, Ren dis, uh, made mention of treasonous activity by East Zone members, um, even though the main subject was the fighting with Vietnam. How about Son Sen? Did he ever um, mention anything in these meetings about treasonous activity by East Zone cadre? I stated from the outset that before uh, he opens the meeting, Réponse. he said a few words to those uh, military commanders that uh, in the east uh, zone uh, there were cadres who were uh, traitors, and that's it. They did not give us the lower level uh, people the reasons or the motives behind that, and that was it. Are you able to say uh, approximately how many times you joined meetings in Zvairang where Son Sen was present? I uh, was there for a short period of time Réponse. because I une brève uh, was de there in mid-78 and during my first month I attended mois, a meeting once and later on I was wounded. So I did not attend any Ensuite, further meeting blessé. because by Puis that time the Vietnamese had attacked. And the one meeting that I attended uh, when we, he went from Phnom Penh to Kraulku. In your written record of interview, um, answer eight, uh, you state, quote, I attended meetings with Son Sen in Zvairang province many times, especially at Kral Ku when I was sent to Zvairang province. Uh, that was the first time I got to know Son Sen. During those meetings, Son Sen spoke about military duties surrounding border defense tactics to counter the Vietnamese soldiers. Close quote. Um, 
you were stating in your written record of interview that you attended many meetings. Donc dans votre PV d'audition, vous parlez de nombreuses réunions. Est-ce que ça vous parle de nombreuses réunions? Avez-vous effectivement assisté à plus d'une réunion avec Son Sen à Sveiring? I am afraid that uh, uh, the transcriber made bon, a mistake. J'ai bien peur que la personne chargée de la transcription ait mal transcrit mes propos. Because I only attended uh, the meeting for one time, then I was wounded, fois. and en fait, after I was uh, discharged from the hospital, ensuite, the Vietnamese troops uh, had entered. Je suis, j'ai quitté l'hôpital et c'est à ce moment-là que les troupes vietnamiennes sont arrivées. Uh, would you yourself ever Question. receive telegrams um, from Ren, um, de Ren uh, with instructions on them? Qui contenait des instructions? Regarding the uh, superior commander, uh, instructions to the uh, lower commanders, we received instructions uh, through various forms, including uh, via telegrams or through uh, meetings. Sometimes there were many participants and sometimes there were less. And uh, the uh, telegrams uh, were the uh, constant means of communication. Les télégrammes étaient President, un moyen de communication you. constant. Président, je vous remercie. Il est maintenant temps pour notre lunch break. Le chambre va prendre une pause déjeuner. La chambre va observer une pause pour continuer notre procédure jusqu'à 13h30. Le court officier va vous assister à l'audience et vous occuper de témoins pendant la pause déjeuner. Il va vous assurer à ce que vous êtes en train de vous occuper de son cadre de permanence à 13h30 cet après-midi. Security personnel, you are starting to take care of some pawn to the waiting room downstairs and have him return to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court stands in recess.